about 40 feet maybe. Accuracy. Accuracy. Yeah, so this reel is one of my prototype reels, the second prototype. Can't even find the other one. And it, um, and I, I have used it for casting because it's much lighter than the original. But this was before I got the cool beveled edge on it, that beveled lip that goes up and out that aids in the casting. It was before I figured out how to do that with wood. Um, but even with this thing, I can still easily cast 40 feet, sometimes more, depending. Someone asked, does fly line, because I recommend fly line as being easier on my hands, because I talk about it in the book, the Handliner's Handbook, does it cast easier? The answer is yes. Here's why, there's a lot less drag. Now this reel is not a good casting reel. This prototype is not a good casting reel. The reels I make today with the beveled edge on it are totally meant for casting. With the, with the beveled edge of the new ones, that line spools off a lot faster. So in other words, it has a lot of the same features that you see in some of the cheap plastic reels, but it's designed to be a reel to last a lifetime. I find in order of casting ability, fly line generally casts the easiest, monofilament casts the second best, and then nylon casts the worst. Nylon just has a lot of drag. It's just a lot more drag on the reel. It just, you know, monofilament slides off the reel easier and, and then fly line slides the easiest because this stuff is designed to slide through a lot of drag through the eyes of a, of the rod. All think about, think about a 10 foot, nine foot, 10 foot fly rod has what, nine or 10 eyes on it and it has to, and it has to slide through that very simply and very easily. And it's the weight of the line that has to cast out, not the weight of the lure pulling it like with mono. And so it still has to get out, zing out. To me, fly line is just a hand line that's, you know, you're just fly fishing is just hand line fishing with the aid of a rod to help you cast and present easier and fight the fish. My hand lines, you just strip away all that and you're just left with line. And since I had already used sinking fly lines for years before then, I just said, this would be perfect, but I never put it to the test until now. And then I couple that with one of my shock leaders. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. And then down to the leader that you saw me with a pattern Oster rig and my floats that I always use that you've seen me use on this channel. Backing on this one, I'm pretty sure is just 20 pound test monofilament. But by the time you get down to the backing, it's already too late with this. Unless I'm trolling and drifting all that line out behind the boat, I would rather Control. I would rather have like a 50 pound test backing because it's easier on my hands and then that goes to the thick fly line. This is seven weight sinking fly line because once you get to sinking fly line, that's what I recommend unless you're just fishing the margins and the shallows like you saw me trying to cast into the tree. You don't need to sink. Um, the line itself sinks and weight forward line has a greater amount of weight toward the beginning of the lure of the reel. Now the line that I think would be the absolute top of the line, best line ever for a hand line, would be the types of Skagit lines and Scandinavian two-handed fly lines that are basically custom constructed with varying weights because they use something like copper weights on the front of their lines with very thick weights on the back and each line is constructed to your tailor to your needs with the leaders and then the weighted portion of the line and the floating portion all that that would be the best right because that line would sink like a rockers which is what I need this line doesn't really sink all that fast which is the thing I don't like about it it it, it catches a lot of wind it catches a lot of um, it cuts through the wind fine but it catches a lot of water and it takes more weight at the end of it to sink it down to the bottom the way I want as far as sinking down to the bottom with trolling uh, lead coralline I find is really the best and I think but I just don't like lead you know copper line would be good but I don't want to get I don't want that copper line to copper line can kink and stuff you know so I think the best solution would be Scandinavian or Skagit fly line especially the heavy sinking tip types of fly lines that will just get down to the bottom of the river and sink like a rock. Just a cheap Chinese made 
seven weight, eight weight, nine weight sinking fly line, whatever they have, you can get them like, you know, don't pay more than 20 bucks a piece for a line, buy a couple, rig them up. And especially if you're fishing from the bank with a hand line, you can get it out there a good long ways. It'll spin off the reel easily and it'll get you out there and you can still fish off the bottom and it's just easier on your hands, right? That's the main thing about hand line fishing. Someone on the Texas Catfish Forum was asking about using 30 pound test braid on jug lines. And oh gosh, you're just asking to have your hands slit open. 30 pound test braid, that stuff is, it's like putting a butter knife through bologna. You'll just cut, I've cut myself on 20 pound test mono fairly easily. Now I've got pretty tough hands here because all the years of working in the restaurant, and you, your hands are always getting burned and scorched and cut and stuff. As I just have thick hide built up, and so I can I can fish with 20 pound test line. But the reality is, to protect your hands, you need well thick line protects hands. And saltwater, who guys overseas in the Middle East and stuff fishing hand lines in the saltwater, they're using like two and three hundred pound test line, monofilament in the deep open ocean. So uh, who are we to think we're gonna be fishing with 20 pound, 30 pound test line and not hurt our hands? And those guys still have, get their hands hurt. Uh, fly fishermen fish with their hands. They're just, they set the hook with their hands. They, they retrieve with their hands. It's a hand line fishing method. You're just using the rod to get a nice delicate cast in presentation, but the rest of it is just hand line and so I would definitely recommend fly line, and fly lines are so cheap today. Is this you know from China? I just buy them from AliExpress, or you can get them from get the cheap ones from eBay. Just get full sinking fly line. But the good thing is it will follow the trail of the boat perfectly like a snake. Uh, so any of you interested in my hand lines, check them out. Uh, again, this is the old version. The new version has the nice cool lips on them. And the, the reels you get are actually better than the reel that I fish with because it's just, yeah, I just don't ever have time to make my own improved version for myself. You guys get the better ones. <laughs> it's just how it works when you're working a fishing tackle shop. Um, 